No way, bro. There's a third one on this same run? No way. Get out of here. A chameleon? Yo, that's gotta be a record. What's going on? Hold on. We got three exotics in one run. For a lot of new players out there, you might be thinking, how can I farm exotics? Uh, what are the best ways? And also, there is a question of why do i need to farm exotics so first of all the most important is the fact that you need exotics currently to level up your expertise on your gun and gear and that can actually get quite expensive so for example if i come in here on the recalibration station go on expertise let's go to my smg let's find my mpx you can see i have this seek mpx at expertise level 10 to start from this going up to expertise level 11 i'm gonna need one exotic component and i get that by destroying my exotics Another example, this Vector SBR, I have it on Expertise level 15, which is a 15% weapon damage. You can see now it requires 6 exotic components. And then for the last example, I have my Police M4 at Expertise level 20, right? And you can see now it requires to go to Expertise level 21, 20 exotic components. So that means I need to get 20 exotics destroyed to get that amount and you know level up this police m4 to the next expertise level so with that said the exotic components are very important for the expertise level because we all want to have a high expertise and not only for guns it works the same way for gears right now besides that though there is obviously the effect that if you are new or return players you just want to have your wall of exotic complete or you know just get them for collection Okay, so let's start off with the easy part. This one, it resets every week. So basically, you can get this done every week and get some exotic cash. So what we want to do is open our map. And you can see on the top left side of the map, there is the projects. On the projects, there is three exotics caches that you can get in here so if i scroll down i have the weekly legendary the weekly shd requisition and the weekly summit projects starting with the weekly legendaries this is very easy and straightforward once you open this up it will tell you which of the legendaries you can do and complete for that week and get a exotic cash for example last week it was a district union and i got my exotic cash from from that and this week i believe it was the capital building which also i did get it done and i got my exotic cash for the week now we know there is five legendaries in the game right but there is only three of them that is in the project rotation so starting off on the left side we have the roosevelt island and then right here we're gonna have the district union arena and last but not least we have the capital building so going back to those projects so that's the first one that we can legendary the second one is a very very simple one basically you just need materials so if i click on it you can see i need food receiver component protective fabric polycarbonate and electronics by donating all of these i will be getting uh 366 000 xp one exotic cash and one named item so let's do that right now and you can see that i did get my exotic cash and also the name item which is gonna be the commando on this scenario and some xp now going back to those projects the third and last one it's basically doing the summit weekly project this one also is very easy but i'm not gonna lie to you this one is kind of boring depending if you like playing summit or not so what you have to do is basically play 30 floors from summit now you don't have to go any higher difficulty you can put this on the easiest difficulty possible and just run through it get 30 floors and you will be getting that exotic cash so these three projects are guaranteed exotic caches every week they will reset weekly and you can see they're about to reset in 17 hours and 15 minutes that i'm recording this video so with that said those are three guaranteed exotic caches now what about if i tell you that you can have more than three 
Why? Because these are per character. So if you have a total of four character, you can basically have 12 exotic caches if you want to do all of these in all of your characters. So what I'm going to do in here, I'm going to switch to my second character, which is this one. And let's see what we can get. So on my second character, if I open the map, go on projects again, you can see all of the three uh, weekly projects are also active for this one. And you can see I got them done. I got two of them done on my main character already and I can do them again to get them you know for this character so moving on for the next way that you can get exotic caches are basically from this season activities so we have the um the league which is still going right now the anti league and also we have the global events global events you can get these stars and not only you will be able to obtain on the reward track of that global event two exotic caches right which i have claimed already also you have the stars and these stars if i fall back and go right here on the global event vendor which i call it you come right here and then you can scroll down on all the way in the bottom side there is the exotic cache that you can buy from these stars so currently i have 112 stars and the exotic cash they're kind of expensive they cost 20 stars so that is another way that you can get exotic cash now speaking of buying another way that you can buy exotic cash is from the countdown vendor it's going to be right here on the left side of the global event vendor and if i scroll all the way down also you can buy exotic cash from the countdown vendor now the countdown vendor uses the uh, i call it the countdown currency and you can see one of the exotic cash costs 224 of this currency and i have 12,000 of them right so basically i believe i can buy about 50 plus exotic cash currently right now if i do the math correctly um but yeah i have those in there i don't really need it much right now but i can always buy it if i need to okay so those are exotic caches that you can get and how you can get them now let's talk about how to farm drops for exotics so basically exotics can be dropped from anywhere in the open world and there is some activities i will show you in just a minute now let's talk about drops drops can be anywhere and most recently i did get a drop from this control point right here which is navy hill but it can be any control point right i did get one in here which was the exotic chatterbox now the reason why i got a chatterbox out of this one out of all of the exotics it's because if i go on my map and i turn show target loot you can see that on the left bottom side of your screen if i click on that on this area right here it is the target loot smgs and that's why i got a chatterbox out of all of the exotics that can be dropped in here so that said, speaking of target loot, right, what you can do is basically a farm target loot on two specific game modes. One of them is going to be right here on the right side of your map. This one is called the Pentco Fairview Power Plant Countdown Game Mode. Now, the Countdown Game Mode is famous for being the best way to farm basically any gear. Any gear that you need currently, you can go on Countdown set the target loot in there and farm them and not only that you have a chance of getting exotics out of it personally i got three exotics in less than 10 minutes in one run on countdown that was my record of how many exotics i got on the short period of time so if i go on countdown you can change the target loot on it if you see on the bottom side of my screen there is select target loot if i press that or hold that button it shows me this target loot selection so i can choose anything in here to what i want to be dropped in countdown the most and that's it basically if i want to farm uh ars i can put the ar and from that point on you're gonna see a bunch of ars dropped on countdown and so with that said i will be having also a chance of getting exotic ars out of the countdown for example a lot of people ask me how to get the chameleon well I did get a lot of chameleons out of countdown by having the assault rifle weapon uh, target loot in countdown. Also besides the countdown there is another game mode that works basically the same way as countdown and it's called the summit. So the summit 
what I would recommend this for is basically solo players because countdown you're gonna be playing with a group obviously but on summit you can go there solo and you know that's what my friend did he did get two memento backpacks back to back in less than 30 minutes and he never had that backpack before and he's a return players i told him about the target loot in the summit also he was farming for his exotic capacitor which is an exotic ar that you can obtain from the summit game mode if you never played it before so he was doing that he got that he got his weekly exotic cash and also he got his two exotic backpacks the memento backpack so if this video was helpful enough a like on it would be super appreciated if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more Division content and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out everybody, take care.